Giving IV antibiotics over four hours creates a special problem for some nurses. They don't seem to realize that when the amount going in per hour is very low, that the patient will not receive any antibiotics for the first two hours of an, infu an infusion. To give you an example, the typical long-lasting or long-duration IV antibiotic is Zosin, which we give over four hours. It usually comes in a 50 cc bag, and if the nurse attaches the small Zosin bag to the secondary IV tubing and programs the pump to infuse at 12 and a half cc's per hour, and then starts the pump flowing, it will take slightly over two hours to fill up the IV tubing and it takes that long before the patient gets any of their antibiotic. So according to chapter three of seven IV antibiotic mistakes, the way to overcome that, if you want your patient to actually get some drugs in this hour, let alone in the next hour, what you need to do is start by filling the entire IV tubing with the antibiotic. If you're able to disconnect from the patient, you can set the pump to um, flow through at four or 500 cc's per hour for 25 cc's to fill up your IV tubing. Stop it, reconnect your patient, and then you can program your pump for 12 and a half cc's for about 60 cc's because your IV tubing is already full up of antibiotic. After about 30 cc's has gone through the pump, the bag will be empty and the remaining 25 cc's will go through over the final two hours of the infusion. And that should be all you'll need to do. If you have uh, one IV access and you also need a good amount of IV fluids going in, you will also need to connect this uh, slow volume or low volume antibiotic um, below the IV pump of the mainline IV tubing because you don't want your patient getting dehydrated while you're giving only 12 and a half cc's per hour for the antibiotic.